machine. A few weeks ago, I was able to uh, visit Adam in his lab, and uh, and he showed me um, some of the things he was working on, and one of them was a, a really interesting application of, of machine learning. Why don't you tell us about, about that project? Sure. Uh, I, I, this semester, uh, designed and taught a new course called Autonomous Vehicle Technologies. And so one technology is using vision, using cameras, uh, the way that autonomous vehicles do. And they need to be able to recognize uh, that's uh, another car, that's a pedestrian, that's a stop sign. And, you know, how, how can they actually do that? Um, yeah, so machine learning and machine vision are, are some of the things that we talk about. And uh, for one of the great things is uh, now you can basically get this working on your own uh, without without that much work. I, I mean, I, I can write programs, but you don't have to do something from scratch to, mm. to make this work well. Yeah, so we're, you're able to just press execute, run, and use a webcam and see uh, there's a coffee cup, there's a person, at least with 75% certainty that's mm -hmm. a person. And, and, and it's, it's great to be able to do that in real time. Uh, so I, you know, software like MATLAB and packages in Python, uh, called, one called TensorFlow, you can, can do mm -hmm. this with only a little bit of a programming Mm -hmm. effort. When I went to his lab and, and he showed me this program, it was interesting to see, yeah, the, the percentage of confidence that this, this program had and whether something was what it said it was. So, um, you know, it looked, it looked at Adam, I think it said it was an 80, 84 percent sure that he was a, a person. <laughs> Uh, I looked at me, I think it was around 75% sure that I was a person. And uh, and behind us, there was a chair. And it was more sure that that chair was a person than I was a person. So I don't know what that, you know, just, we might want to get into the metaphysics of personhood. Um, but the, 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 the best was... I you just well just hold something up random in front of in front of the camera and see what it says. So I I took a pen and I held it up in front of the camera and it said it was about ninety percent sure it was a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think that is so so interesting that you know looking at machine learning and there are so many assumptions that we make about what is obvious. Talk about that when when you look at how machines work. What? Why can't we make all these assumptions? One thing that we have that that machines will will never have, unless we go down this laundry list of a million uh, end cases or ed edge cases, we have context for for everything that we're experiencing, and the, these m machine learning algorithms they know what we train them on, uh, but they they don't necessarily pick up all the context that that we get to pair with everything that we do. Mm. Like I know it would be really unusual for my friend Seth to bring a baseball bat because I I have no no I I'd never even talked about baseball with him. That's part of the context. Well, and and a baseball um, bat is pretty big, right? So a baseball <laughs> bat's not something you can carry in your pocket. <laughs> so so we always have that context uh, and, and it can make us see something like that and know it's just wrong. It's ridiculous. And at the same time, we can also understand, I see why, why you think that is what you think. Um, so so in, in some ways, it, it can't extrapolate from what we the, the information that we feed to it. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it's it's uh, so it's hard for us to take all of the assumptions which come from the context that we have and and package it in a way that we can can train mm -hmm. all of that into it. Um, so so it's hard for it to extrapolate from what what it already what what it's been taught. Yeah. And it tur turns out a thousand objects is is not really that much. Uh, and there's always these shades of understanding. Like that's a baseball bat, but. Uh, yeah, I know that it's a kid's bat or a toy bat or mm -hmm. uh, a wooden bat or a broken bat or uh, on and on and on. Yeah. Thank you for watching this Nerding Out short. Click here to watch the full episode. Click the subscribe button and the bell notification to know when we put up new videos. 
support the channel, head over to Nerdy Catholic Tees and purchase some nerdy merch of your very own. System shut down.